So we've known for a long time that your height and your BMI are correlated with how well off you are. People from poor backgrounds, less well educated backgrounds tend to be a bit shorter and they tend to be a bit fatter. We wanted to ask the question, could the association go the other way around? So we know that poverty likely influences your height and your BMI, but could there be something about simply about the way you look, being a bit fatter, being a bit shorter, could that actually influence uh, your chances in life as measured by things like your income? So we found that in men, you were worse off if you were a bit shorter, as measured by genetics. And in women, we found that you were a bit worse off if you were fatter, as, as measured by genetics. The implications of this are that if you could take the same woman, same intellect, same CV, same background, but send her through life a stone heavier, she would be about £1,500 per year worse off. The implications of this data also mean that if you could take the same man, say a five foot ten man but make him five foot seven, and send him through life, he would be about £1,500 worse off per year. We use the UK Biobank data set, which is a study of half a million people uh, who were born between 1935 and 1970. And we took 120,000 people from that data set for which we had genetic data available. Uh, and what we did was we took around 400 variants that are associated with how tall you are, and we took 70 variants that are associated with your BMI. And we looked at how those different genetic variants associated with five measures of socioeconomic status. So that included whether you had degree level education, how long you'd been in full-time education for, a measure of deprivation, which looks at things such as your employment status, uh, whether you own your own home or whether you own vehicles and how many people live in your house, what job you actually do, and your annual household income. It's a really good method. The best possible method would obviously be a randomised control trial, but this is the next best thing. It's not subject to sort of your standard confounding, and it's also not subject to sort of reverse causality. So we can really use it to try and work out whether height and BMI have a causal role in socioeconomic status. What our data really shows is that there, the, strong, the strongest level of evidence that there is a causal effect, that simply something about being a bit fatter as a woman or being a bit shorter as a man lowers your chances in life. And that's not something that we really knew with any concrete evidence before. Why is that important? I think it's up to scientists from sociology and psychology to, to answer that question as well. But clearly things like uh, are women who are a bit more overweight being discriminated against in the workplace, needs more investigation? Is it something about being more depressed and having a lower self-esteem? We know that depression has a, uh, the levels of depression are higher in, in women who are more overweight, for example. And are we, as employers, for example, sitting in an interview room and subconsciously choosing uh, the thinner woman rather than the fatter woman, even though they have the same intellect and CV in front of us. If that's the case, that's clearly bad for the woman. It's also bad for society.